In October of 1985, three Spanish developers joined forces and formed the company Gelco in Barcelona, Spain. Gelco's goal was to design video games for arcade machines. It wasn't until 1991 when Gelco had the first commercial success with the release of the Big Karnak, a 2D horizontal scrolling platform game. From there, Gelco went on to release several more successful 2D arcade games. In 1996, Gelco released a car racing game entitled Speed Up. It was Gelco's first 3D game. From that point forward, the company became focused on releasing 3D games. Two years later, Gelco released Radical Bikers. This game achieved phenomenal success in many nations, including Japan and the United States. In fact, Atari bought the distribution rights for its release in the USA. Although not widely known, it was Radical Bikers gameplay mechanics that inspired Sega to create Crazy Taxi in 1999. A year later, Gelco released Smash and Drive, their 3D taxi game. Gelco went on to produce a few more 3D arcade hits, including Rolling Extreme, Football Power, ATV Track, Gelco Football, Tokyo Cop, Ring Riders, and Tuning Race. In 2005, Gelco decided it could no longer make money arcade machines due to their slump, and therefore closed its door to arcade games. Two years later, however, they re-emerged as Gelco Darts, and now they're focused exclusively on electronic darts. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install and set up a collection of Gelco 3D arcade games using Demu and MAME emulators in Batocera. Are you ready to check out some of the top Gelco 3D games in Batocera? Let's do it! Greetings everyone and welcome to Batasera Nation, the number one fan site and channel for Batasarans. As mentioned earlier, today we're going to cover a collection of 3D arcade games developed by Gelco. Now, it turns out that the Demio emulator only supports three of those Gelco games. The good news, however, is that we can adjust the scaling options of those games. Indeed, if your hardware supports it, you can spruce up the graphics of these games. In addition, I found four additional Gelco games that are supported by MAME. Therefore, altogether, we're going to have a collection of seven 3D games from Gelco operating under one collection. Now, once again, it can only run Demu on a 64-bit PC system. It won't work on other systems. Secondly, you also will need a graphics card that supports Vulkan. Indeed, I've tried this on an Intel 1165G7 running Intel Iris, a AMD 4800U system, and a PC system running on a NVIDIA 1650 graphics card. In all three cases, it worked, but it worked best on the AMD and NVIDIA systems. All right, let's get to it. All right, so for this collection set, we need to download five files. Four of those files, you'll be able to download that on my website. About to set and go to the download section. It's going to be at the very bottom of the page, and you can't miss it, all right? And the fifth file is this one right here. And this is the collection of the seven games. Uh, to locate all those games, go to Internet Archive and then type in the search feature Gelco Batocera. And it's the first set, and that's what you need to download. All right. Once you download everything, go ahead and unzip everything. Uh, and then go here to Gelco Batocera. These are my files, including controller settings of three of the games. You also will find here the logo to Gelco. My theme, about the Setter Club Reloaded, has Gilco already included in its theme. Your theme may not have it, so I've included there the logo in case uh, you need it. In either case, go ahead and select all these files, including the script material, copy, and go to this folder, Gilco by itself, and just paste it there. All right. And from there, I just go ahead and copy uh, all these unzipped folders uh, into a portable drive, and we're gonna copy that into Batocera. I'm gonna show you where to copy all these files. All right, let's go ahead and load up Batocera, and let's get Gelco up and running. All right, so when Batocera, let's go ahead and press F1 on the keyboard. 
I'm going to my portable drive right here. All right. You can see here we've got here four files. My Gelco dash about to set has already been merged with this folder right here. Okay, everything is there. All right, let's go ahead and copy this very first one, demo. Let's go ahead and copy it to the user data. Go into saves and paste it right there. Right. Now since I already have it, I'm not going to do that again. Okay, let's go back over here. Go to the next one. Gelco Games. Let's go ahead and cut and paste that to the games folder. Paste it right there. Okay. And there it should be right there. And there it is. Alright. Go back to the Alright, let's go ahead and select this one right here. Let's go into cut and paste. Let's go to share. Let's go into system. And let's go into configs. Emulation station. And paste it right there. Okay. I already have it, so I'm going to just go ahead and overwrite it. And that's it. Come back to my little folder right here. We got this last one right here, okay? And this one I'm going to open up for you. You can see here, I've got here scaling, okay? Depending upon your system, this could be either one, two, or three. If you got a weak system, you can only leave it at one. If you got a more powerful system, I would say go ahead and spruce it up to three, all right? So, in my case, I have a pretty powerful system. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at three. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this to share. Go back to saves and go back to demo. Once again, select demo and paste it right there. It will tell you this, okay? Since it's already in there, just go ahead and uh, replace it, overwrite it. Okay? And there it is. All right? Again, you may also may want to experiment. You know, if it, three is too much for your system, then bring it down to two. If two is too much for your system, bring, bring it down to one. All right? quit and that's it we're ready to go go into file close windows and then your gamepad go ahead and select start go into game settings update games list and voila it should be there there it is again since my theme but to set a club reload it already has Gilco in its theme I didn't have to do anything it automatically will pop up like this if your theme doesn't I've got the logo where you can just copy into your theme all right. All right, let's go ahead and select it. You can see here that all these games are great. The seven games. Some of these games will use main, and some of these games will use demo. All right, so three of these games will play in demo, and the rest of them will play in main. We got selected. So let's go ahead and hold down the A button or the B button, depending upon your game pad. And let's go into advanced game options. This one is the demo. So go ahead and choose demo. Video mode, I kind of like it like this. Uh, game aspect ratio, I like it 16 by 9. And V Sync, I'm going to head and turn it on. Let's go to the next one. Hold down the A button or the B button. Go into advanced game options. This one, emulator is going to be main, Liberto. All right. Video mode, I've got it that way. Aspect ratio, 16 by 9. Graphics API, Vulkan, render resolution, 1080p, everything else is auto. Go on to the next one, Gelco Football, hold down the A button, the B button, advanced game options. This is also demo, and video mode, game aspect ratio, 16 by 9, and V-Sync, oh, set that to on. Go to the next one, Radical Bikers. Go into advanced game options. And this one's going to be Roberto Main 0139. Okay, make sure you choose that one. This will not work. This one will, all right? And video mode 1080p, game aspect ratio 16 by 9, game rendering. I've got that to enhance. I kind of like that. Decorations, I've got to set that to none. I want full screen. Uh, 
Graphics API Vulkan. Everything else is set to auto. Let's go to the next one. Smash and drive. Go into advanced game options. This is also demo. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. Video mode. 1080p. Game aspect ratio. 16 by 9. V-Sync on. Next one. Speed up. Let's go to advanced game options. This is main. The Berto. 0139. All right. I got this fit to Vidimo Auto. Game aspect ratio, 16 by 9. Game rendering, enhanced, decorations, none. And uh, graphics API, Vulcan. Everything else set to auto. All right. And the last one, advanced game options. Emulator, once again, Liberto, main, 0139. Uh, video mode, 1080p. Game aspect ratio 16 by 9, rendering enhanced, decoration none, Vulcan, everything else is auto. All right, all right, let's go back to the top. Before we proceed, let me also share that the select button on your game pad adds coins to the arcade system. The start button will start the game, the hotkey and the start button will exit the game altogether. Finally, I also want to point out that these games, especially the ones that play Demio, play exactly the same as they do in Windows. Now, let me go ahead and show you some gameplay. First time you load this up with the radio, first time it's going to be kind of slow. After that, it should be fast. You'll see that on the screen. Uh, R3 or automatically will go into full screen. This is true for all the Demio games. R3. Once again, select coin.
That's a wrap. That should give you a great overview of the 3D games from Gelco. Indeed, I hope that you enjoy this collection. 
Now then, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with YouTube's algorithm. If this is your first time watching a video from Batocera Nation, then I highly encourage you to check out YouTube channel, as well as a website at BatocerNation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Batocera is all about and whether this will meet your emulator needs. Finally, I want you to know I've got a lot more videos coming up, so therefore please consider subscribing so that you'll stay on top of the greatest and latest I'm about to say. As a matter of fact, next time, I plan to do a tutorial on how to install Epic Games in Batocera. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm hoping to get it working. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time about Batocera Nation. Bye.